Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. You felt the call to move on. It's no longer about the potential that you see in somebody. So you were led to move on. You were led to go on. You were led to walk along. You were led to walk this journey and this path that God has you on. Because you can't just see the potential in somebody. You just can't see the potential that people have. It came to a point in your life where God was requiring of you to move on. God was requiring you to release something that you were trying to hold on to. So you could live. So that you could grow. So that you could succeed. So that you could use your wings and fly. So that you could soar. This probably was something hard for you to do, but it was very important for you to do. It was very purposeful for you to do. When God is requiring you to move on, it's not about how we feel. It's not about the potential that you think a person has. No, it's much more deeper than that. So God led you to move on. It was time for you to move on. It has been way past time for you to release what you've been trying to hold on for so long. And holding on to it only holds you back. I want you to understand that, family. When God requires his children to release something, and if the children try to hold on so much, that's you and I, if we do our best to hold on to it for dear life, you know what we're really doing? We are holding ourselves back. You're limiting yourself. You're limiting your own potential. You're limiting your growth. You're limiting your own life. And as you gain the courage to release the potential that you see in that individual, you are going to have the life of your dreams. It is no longer about the potential that you see in someone. Hold that mirror up to your own face. Stand on your own two feet and you look into that mirror. What do you see? You can see everybody else's potential. You can see everybody have a desire to make it. You can see good in everybody else. You encourage everybody else. You inspire, you motivate everyone else. What about you? You can't cause yourself to see good in everybody else and not see the potential. That God has put on the inside of you. This is why God would call his children. Children at a season in their life to release something. That they've been holding on for their life. God will sometimes call you to walk alone. God will sometimes call you to walk this road of difficulty. Sometimes. Oh, sometimes you got to make a hard decision. Sometimes you have to do what is tough. Because you can't just watch people in their potential and deny your own is no longer about the potential that you see in someone is no longer about the strength that you see in someone is no longer about the opportunity that you see in someone if they would apply themselves is no longer about that anymore god has led you to move on God has led you to walk away. God has led you to take the path right now that you're on. Whatever path that you're on, whatever journey that you're on, whatever road that you are walking, whatever mountain that you are climbing, God has allowed you to walk this path. This is your journey and you have to walk it out. It's no longer family. There's no longer time for you to keep looking at people's potential that you are affiliated with what about your own potential do you nurture your own gift or do you nurture someone else's gifts in their own dreams and when it comes to your dreams and your gifts and your potential you let it dry up and die the devil is a liar and the truth is not in him this is why god may be calling you to walk by yourself in this season of your life this is one of the reasons why God possibly may be asking of you to walk this journey out all by yourself, just you and him. If you keep looking at the potential in somebody else, 
you're going to forget your own potential. If you keep looking at the abilities and the capabilities and the giftings and the talents of other people and forsake your own, your destiny and your dreams and your visions are going to die. But before God allow that to die, that he has caused to live in your life, God will snatch you out of the dunghills of this life. God will snatch you out of the fiery furnace. God will do whatever it takes to get to his children. God will do whatever he takes to deliver you. Because there's a word, a prophecy that is hanging over your life. That God spoke a word while you were in your mother's womb. Did you know that, souls of God? This is why God said he already knew who you were. So as you grow up and you hear that small voice and you think it's someone close to you that is calling you. You think it's your parents calling you. You remember the voice of God before you came here. Oh, glory be to God. God said, I foreknew you when you was in your mother's womb. He said, I call you. I ordain you. Now it is time for you to walk alone. Now it is time for you to release. It is no longer time for you to keep building in somebody else and forsake your own foundation. You can't keep seeing the potential and building another man's foundation and building another man's dream and neglect your own house. This is not of God. The devil is a liar and the truth is not of him. Whatever you do, don't you neglect your own foundation. Don't you neglect your own potential. Don't you neglect and bury your dreams and your vision. Don't you dare bury your purpose, keeping your mind focused on somebody else's potential. Does God cause us to inspire people? Yes, he does. Does God cause us to help? Help is a ministry. Serving is a ministry. But you can't do it at the expense of your own future. Some of, some of you have forsaken your own dreams and your own goals at, at your expense. You poured into so many people because you saw the potential and you've lost yourself along the way. God is calling you to build your foundation. God is calling you to go back to that place. Go right back to the place where you laid down on yourself, where you felt like you could take a time out. Some of you allowed the devil to let you take a time out in life. No, you got to get back in the game of life and you got to play it. You got to know your own potential. Whatever you gave away, you got to learn to give that back to yourself first. You saw the potential. You helped other people discover their own potential. But when it came to you, oh my God, God led you to walk this journey. God has led you, family, to leave people's potential with them. He's led you to do that because it's no longer about the potential that you see in someone else. It's no longer about the ability and the capability that someone else has. It is time for you to know your own potential. It's time for you to, to nurture your own gift. It's time for you to nurture your own ability. It is time for you to nurture the gift that God put in your belly because out of your belly is going to flow rivers of living water. Your gift that God gave you is going to make room for you. The provision is going to come from the gift that God gave you. My God, the gift that God has given you, the gift that God has placed down on the inside of your belly is going to make room for you. Some of you may be trying to figure out how I am going to get my knees met. The gift that God has put down on the inside of you. How is the way going to be made? You may be asking God. You may be asking yourself. And God's word to you today is the gift. The gift that he put down on the inside of you is your way out. It is no longer. It is no longer time for you to keep building somebody else's dream. And building somebody else's potential. Seeing the potential in somebody else and neglecting your own. God said, no more. No more. You can't do things in life at your own expense. You can't afford not to build your own life. 
You can't afford to neglect your gifting. No family of God. This is why God calling you right now to walk alone. This is why you're in a discovery season as well. You're rediscovering who you are. You're rediscovering the gift and the callings that God put down on the side and on the inside of you. You're rediscovering who you are. You're rediscovering because some of you may have lost yourself along the way. Nurture your own gift. Nurture your own ability. And nurture your own potential. You have so much potential. You know, there's a lot of people who are no longer here that had so much potential. But they died with that potential. They were buried with that potential. I've always told God that I'm going to die empty. I will not die full of greatness. I will not die full of gifts. I will not. And I declare today, you will die empty. Every gift that God put in your belly, every dream that God put in your belly, you will die empty. I decree that you will release Everything that God has spoken over your life. We're in a season right now where we must keep our head and our ear to the bosom of God. We have to walk in sync with God. You got to hear the heartbeat of God. And in order for you to hear that heartbeat, that pulse of heaven, we must stay in prayer mode. It is no longer enough for you to see the potential in somebody else and neglect your own potential. It is no longer time for you to help somebody else build their own dream and their own, own vision and you forsake your own. No, family of God. We are all accountable to what God said we should do while we are here. Get busy, family. Get busy and build. Go back and nurture your potential. Go back and nurture the foundation. Pick your dream back up. Pick your vision back up. Pick the desires of your heart back up. This is how you lose yourself by putting you on the back burner and taking all your focus and all your time, all your effort, all your energy on somebody else. And years have gone down the road and these people are gone on and now you are stuck to get yourself up out of a dunghill in life because you gave away too much. At your own expense. I love you family. We'll talk later if it be the will of the Lord. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like and share our videos. Thank you for supporting the book. Becoming a master of divine consciousness. I am not reaching out to anyone. So please don't get scammed. Delete these notifications and replies. And continue to report these scammers to all of my channel members. We love you so much here. We thank God that good things are coming to you. There's a blessing in staying connected. Stay hooked up. Family of God, stay hooked up and nurture your own potential. Nurture your own gift. Don't neglect and self-sacrifice and self-sabotage all of the greatness that God has on the inside of you. I declare that we will all release all these things that God put on the inside of us so that we can give God glory. We'll talk later. Love y'all so much. You stay encouraged in the things of the Lord. Stay in the word of God. And stay around positive people. Stay around kingdom-minded people. Be careful what you see. Be careful what your eyes entertain. Be careful what your ears hear in this season of your life. Stay in prayer and stay covered and clothed in the blood of Yeshua. Hama Mashiach. Glory be to God. We love you here.